we broke the world. Our early experiments in time travel released massive amounts of chronal radiation into the time stream with devastating results. As the particles traveled back through time, they altered countless seemingly insignificant decisions throughout history. But where causality is concerned, nothing is insignificant. The result is the radioactive nightmare of a world that lies beyond the protective screens of this facility. If we are to have any hope of restoring the time stream, then we must employ the very cause of the problem itself, time travel. But we must be very cautious, for the risks of direct interference are potentially greater than what we have already faced. We must surgically alter the past, correcting the decisions that were corrupted and leave it to the butterfly effect to restore the future. This is not an easy task, as many, many events were changed. And if we succeed completely, then we may wipe ourselves out of existence. But if humanity is saved, then that is a price worth paying. Okay, fair enough. Interesting intro. Um, I might actually rearrange that and put that after this part. So, um, uh, basically it was somebody just, just explaining this the story basically um i don't know if this is going to be copyright this music on this home screen anyway this is a game called eternal threads uh the description reads eternal threads single player first person story driven puzzle game of time manipulation choice choice and consequence okay that's not actually the best description uh let's read this as an operative tasked to fix in corruption into the time stream, you have been sent to North England in May 2015, where six people died in a house fire. Prohibited from simply stopping the fire, you must instead manipulate the choices made by the housemates in the week leading up to it so that all survived the event. Uh, I think that'll do. The rest of it is starts to get a little bit spoilery okay so there's the basic gist um i'm gonna mess about in the settings i'll see you in a second okay mess about in the settings the only thing i want to add is i got this game for free using air quotes there um it was part of the humble bundle this month uh this month being july uh that won't be when the videos go out um in fact i don't think they'll go out until the end of august but i don't know uh anyway new game okay so normal the full game with all events decisions objects locations and endings available there is 197 events with 40 54 decisions or the abridged version an easier quicker to play version with a reduced number of events and decisions it will be impossible to fully explore the house learn all the secrets or archive achieve the best ending uh, 121 events and 37 decisions. We'll go with a normal version. Uh huh. I've already seen that symbol. Thank you all. Fatalities could be worse. Forty-three. Okay. To fix this timeline, all six subjects must be saved, and you are only authorized to alter the decisions they made in the week before they died. Change the right set of decisions, and you save them all. So, let's find somewhere to drop you with no witnesses. Busy. Busy always happens to me. Wait, ah, oh, wait, okay, we got something, 43. It's a few hours afterwards, it looks clean. Mm, it's dark though. Don't worry, I'll send some lights. Let's get you when and where you need to be. Do, 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 do. 
Initiating crossover sequence. Was he singing the Superman theme there? Dee, 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 dee. Sounded like it. Temporal oh. crossover in five seconds. I see you on the other side, 43. Not Three, if we correctly. Two, one. Temporal crossover initiated. Not if we correctly uh, change the events, you won't. Crossover complete. Light drones inbound. Light drones crossover complete. Ah, still in one piece, 43. Good. Good, right, okay, let's get you set up. Activate your visualizer. That's the United Kingdom. Location, Alderbeck, UK. Temporal reference, 4.03 a.m., 20th of May, 2015. Perfect. Now you'll probably need some boosters, okay? Your system will be checking now. Please place first signal booster at location indicated on visualizer. Okay. Uh, what did I say, huh? Okay, 43. You just need to head towards that little white dot on your visualizer. Do you understand? Yeah. Uh, just taking a look at typical English weather right here. Fucking raining. Um, interestingly, I can already see that somebody smashed in the door. I assume that was the firefighters. But, uh, you know. I've never been to this part of the United Kingdom. I've lived here all my life, but in the UK, that I mean, but okay, can't go in there. Like, is this the back door? Got a bench in the garden. Weird, but right. yeah, I see the um, light drones didn't have to or anything did they like my bloke did huh yes let's party 28 14 rather what we got the old tenant melody mixology kit cookbook medical diction Mary. the pi files i can't read that one survival something all right uh, the last star this? I don't know and then the ultimate trace guide okay oh oh it's right there okay I see Interesting that this is all intact, even though this isn't. Wonder if that comes into play at all. From Paris with love. Can I read this? Uh, I can't seem to zoom in. Okay, well, uh, let's get on with the game, I guess. How dare you want to explore? That all good? Looks to be. Please place second signal booster. Right. In here. <laughs> Where did the sound sort of cut out for a second when uh, I pushed the door open? I'm pretty sure I've seen that picture before. I'm not sure it's... Uh, and that one. I don't know, maybe they are created for this game, maybe maybe I'm just misremembering, but... Couple of beers. 
What's that? Kogan's? Can't read it from here. Bush is in the way. There was a uh, photosensitivity warning at the start of the game. If I remember, I'll, um, I'll put it in. Please play Spinal Signal Booster. Right, yeah. Oh, different floors. If a target of the visualizer is located on a different floor, the white dot will replace with an arrow. An up arrow means the target is above, while a down arrow means the target is below. Crazy. Uh, the final one goes here, does it? What is that sound? Oh, it's the clock. That's stuck. Maybe it represents time not moving at the moment. Final space heater in the right place, lovely. Activating signal boosters, initiating scan. Interesting like proxy layout. Scan complete. Corruption, Corruption. detected. Mm. Six erroneous fatalities confirmed. Conclusion event determined. Location transfer to visualizer. Okay, so let's go down here. Ah, the system is locked in. Good, good, good. Okay, go follow the target on your visualizer and we can see how the story currently ends. Right. So presumably it was them that broke in. What? Yeah, this room's not on fire at all. Strange. I actually need this room. I guess that one's going round the fire, perhaps? I don't hear what you're saying, mate. He's going to continue spraying. What about you? you oh, no, you disappeared. Six should have survived, but time is being corrupted and now they are very, very dead. Stopping the fire would fix all of this, of course, 43, but forecasting is saying this has major repercussions further down the timeline. Right. Which is why you are using a scalpel instead of swinging a axe. Analyzing timeline. Evaluating events. Time map available. Ah, good, okay. Open up your time map and I will talk you through it. Uh, it's that space. Yeah, it is. Here's the end of the time map, 43. Mm -hmm. The large hexagon is a conclusion event and you can return here and rewatch it at any time. Small right. hexagons are the final events for each of the subjects. If you change someone's fate, then both their final event and the conclusion event will change. Mm -hmm. The white events are all part of the current timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently be watched. If you change a decision which alters the timeline, some events will change state from one to the other. Once you have watched a decision, 43, it will appear on the map as a diamond, so it is easier to find it again later. The portraits at the top will show you who is in each event, as well as whether they are alive or dead on the current timeline, 43. And this is the earliest event on the timeline. Like the rest, it currently has a question mark because it has not yet been watched. While only you can choose any event in any order, 43, let's just start here for now. Okay. Select this event 
and I'll check everything is working as it should. Do you understand? Mm hmm. So this is involving Tom, by the looks of it. Uh, event number one. Eight o'clock, Wednesday, the thirteenth of May. Just Tom's room. I was talking. Good, we're ready. Let's go. Jesus. Don't give you a moment, did I? Wednesday. Oh, 0800. Oh, she's going to say it anyway. Tom's room. Okay, in that case, I won't bother saying it if she's going to say it. Right, here we go. What's happening, Tom? I mean, yeah, he's, he's looking better. Aren't you, Frank? Oh, you look Frankie. The bird causes the fire. My God. Stars often. But he's he's still pulling out his feathers every now and then. Yeah. I talked to the vets. They want to keep him overnight. I just. I just don't know if that will cause him more stress, you know? Potential corruption problem. Wait to see if Frank gets better on his own. This is fortunate. You should try and change it, okay? So we can make sure everything is working properly. Yes? Oh. Yep, I want him to go to the vet anyway, so... Seems like the perfect choice for me. Yeah, you're right. Uh huh? They had an appointment for next Tuesday, so I'll book him in for then. Next Tuesday? Would the fire have happened by then? That's that's the door. I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm stuck. He's out the door. Oh, look! 43, oh. the birdcage is um. gone. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. This means your visualizer is working properly and you're fully able to change the timeline. Who? Cool. And as a bonus, the little birdie also gets to live too. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Anyway, probably best to head back to the time map and select another event. Yes? Uh, view time. Okay, we'll do in just a second. I want to see. Can't seem to like interact with stuff, I guess. That's supposed to be like part of the whole thing. Oh, hang on. Never mind. Okay. Run. Transcribe. This mentions a safe. Curious. Put his things in the safe. I have not detected a safe anywhere thus far in the house. And on the 6th of April, where is he? Hmm. So Tom Moreau disappears before the 6th of April. Interesting. Uh, Raven Lower the Visualizer. Right, Aiden. To vet or not to vet? <laughs> okay, let's see. Right, let's see what else we can interact with. Okay, a can cutter. Probably for dog food or something, I would imagine. Tuesday the 19th of May. Um, I can't seem to crouch. Oh, whoops. Navigate the timeline. To quickly move around the time map, press and hold the left mouse button while on an empty area of the map, then drag left or right. Alternatively, you can change the viewpoint to a different day by selecting from the day indicator at the bottom of the map. Okay. Uh, Wee! Yeah, that works. Tom decided to book a vet appointment for his budgie. Right, so we take we change that potential to an actual happening. And all that means is at the end keep me whistling through my teeth. Um the conclu conclusion event is that the budgie wasn't in the fire. Woo Influence look. Oh lock. 
Okay. You change? Oh, so you can quickly make a change if you wanted to here. Yeah, okay. I see. View event report. What does that do? While talking on the phone, Tom decided to send his budgie to the vet. Then the ah. doorbell rang, so he quickly finished the call and went to open the front door. Excuse me, coughing. Um. Well, it, oh, raise or lower your device. You can raise or lower your device from the right mouse button. The device must be raised in order to watch a selected event. Okay. Um, I was going to say, clearly this didn't start the fire because of, um, um, this, this room wasn't on fire at all. Our Tom starting his new school. You could pinch those cheeks. September 2001. 2001, I would have only had three, three more years of school left. Well, three and a half, depending on... Oh, what's this? Oh, a uh, strong one. Okay. Job projections are dear to Mr. Monroe. We appreciate your interest in next level building merchants and for the... Position of part-time trade counter sales assistant for which you applied on 28th of April. I wish to inform you that we have offered the position to another applicant who think who we think meets our need for the position. It was a difficult decision because of a number of applicants, including you, were strong candidates. We would like to keep the application on file for a period of 90 days in the event of another position of which you are qualified becomes available. If your address changes. Within that period of time, we encourage you to inform us of the new address. Again, we thank you for the interest in your next level building merchants. We wish you continued success in your career endeavours. And thirdly, Mr. Cecil Wilcock, store manager. Uh, I mean, that's not true. In the, uh, at least from my experience and others who I know in the UK, they don't send you rejection letters, they just... They would still keep you on, as it says, a 30-day type thing, but they wouldn't tell you that. They would just, you know, whip me up some sin, giant ghost, my inner fire, smoking frenzy, I heard, day before the night, raw of my desire, full moon dream, paradise, bitter survival, walk of guilt, and shout of freaks. Cool. <laughs> Oh, we can read this now. Friday shopping list. Oh. Uh, beer, wine, vodka, brandy, gin, energy drinks, tequila, coke, lemonade, uh, lemon and limes, and some crisps. Fair enough. What we got here? Uh, a menu for an Indian restaurant. They're fully licensed. Must be within a four mile radius. That's quite generous. That usually they don't do it outside of two miles. Um. Hmm. It looks like that is what they had as well, because that looks like Indian leftovers right there. Yeah, and they heated, heated some up and then left the bowl in the microwave. Strange. Anyway, let, let, should we look for a new timeline or? I think I will kind of just want to get everything in my head so that if something happens that requires knowledge of. Oops. Home electrician's manual. See, so there might be something that. Now that we know that this is here, maybe we can tell somebody to come here and pick it up. Whereas before we saw that, perhaps we couldn't. A fidget spinner. Don't get any ideas about souvenirs, 43. Trust me. 
It just leads to a lot of shouting and lectures and so much paperwork. I wouldn't want a fidget spinner anyway. Fuck that. Waste plastic. Uh, writer and a painter. Life of Thomas. Somebody. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to come in handy, but but you never know. Alright. Oh, I missed this in Tom's room. Oh, what's this? Oops, damn it. Tom's debt letter. Yes, sir, uh, the legal owner of the debt, Dutchback PLC, would like to make you one final offer to resolve the matter am amicably. Uh, that's a lot of money. 40 quid's not bad. Uh, if you contact uh, the next 10 days, okay. Okay. I don't think this is going to... Unless perhaps it was the debt people that set the house on fire. Of course. I like the light switch actually does switch. But there is no... Oh, there's blood here. Miranda. Okay, what we got here? Uh, look, Miranda, we need to talk about last night. Don't worry about the marks. They'll heal up in a few days. I'm not talking about the marks. I mean the whole thing. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hang around this morning for round two, but work had a crisis and they can't seem to get anything done without me. They're not listening. We need to talk. That reminds me, I'm going to be busy for a bit. So my naughty little puppy better behave himself. Then I'm back. We'll see what else we can do. Tools. Okay, we'll talk then. Hmm, interesting. Why is Miranda's phone at the bottom of the stairs and why is it broken? Um, I wonder if Miranda is the one who fell or if they just had Miranda's phone in her hand. In their hand. Last timetable, okay, good to know. Another little takeaway. This one is for Kenny's fried chicken. Uh, Crystal Lake True Story. What are names? Will Smoke. <laughs> Jessica Marker and Warren Ruther. Punk is dead. Oh, okay. Uh, rotten apple. Trustee. Hmm, okay. 43, uh, um, I'm detecting some form of temporal abnormality. It does not appear to be in this room, but it is very close, so uh, please watch out. Hmm. Why lock an old wardrobe in the basement? Uh, how curious. It is curious, indeed. Tom's mom's certificate. The Sterling Photography Foundation. SPF, Photographer of the Year Award. Certificate of Excellence is here by presenter Barbara Monroe for creating well-crafted, original and exceptional quality photographs which communicate a strong visual narrative. Selected from 250 outstanding photographers for the SPF Photographer of the Year Award 1989-1990. Ahem. Uh -huh. I didn't get an achievement called Hammer Time. Usually, oh, still in the box. <sighs> I believe 43 that this is what they call irony. Hmm. Ceiling acceptable here. Oh, interesting. Money back guarantee. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't work, I'm pretty sure. The people are dead. Um, 
not really something you can well anyway okay this is lock two ah combination lock <laughs> well at least you're not searching for a key 43 not sure that's funny but all right that is unfortunate 43 you will need to get this door open to access all the events that took place outside. Right. Maybe you can find out where the key is from one of the events inside the house. Huh? Yeah, that makes sense. Can't seem to interrupt with this door though. Even though it's open. Oh, what's this? The occupier. Okay, so that's where we are. 14th. 14, uh, what was it? 14th West something. West Park Road. Okay. Try and remember that for uh, any future. Born to Rock. Oh, oh, whoops. No, stop it. I want to read it. Thank you. Uh, Harry's now Lynn, what's going on? You weren't making much sense last time we spoke. Then I come home to find you gone and I know it's Dr. Fridge saying you are leaving me. Kyron read the note, you know. He's really upset. As you're not answering your phone, I ask Anthea to pass this note on to you. I just want to talk without shouting or and screaming. I know you've been under a lot of pressure and work and that's what really caused all of this. Uh, I told you that it was a mistake going back, but it's it's too just too demanding when you're you've got me and Kieran, Kieran to look after. Uh, please let me, let's just meet up and talk anytime, anywhere. But let's get it over this and b back to normal for Kieran's sake. Call me Harry. He's saying Kieran. It's Kieran. There's a reason for it, but uh, it's not worth going into. Death metal. Oh, there's a two here. Oh. Some tiger camouflage glasses. Very nice. Uh, New World Order. Highest. I don't know what that says. Alright, what have we got in here? Nothing seemingly. Oh, a phone. Uh, Linda, how was your school today? Okay, I guess. When are you coming home, Mum? What have you had for tea? Pizza again. Mum, you promised it would be soon. I'll pick you up from school tomorrow and we'll go home. You're coming home? For real? For real, for good? Yes, brush your teeth and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Love you too, Mum. Thanks, thanks. Hmm. Maybe... It was Kieran. Wait, was this window always open? Okay. Um, maybe it was Kieran. Maybe he got upset. Set hat fire to the house. Um, hmm, okay. Do not stop taking Miss Madison except on your doctor's advice. Miss Jenny Spencer, you've got to reach the site of children. What are they though? I mean, I know they're Alpazine. Probably either a tranquilizer or. A depression drug? Not sure. Ah, okay. So one of them is a doctor. Party! Who's, whose room is this? Is it... Hang on. This... Actually, it doesn't see... 
Miss Jenny Spencer, though? Is that the doctor or is that the person it's prescribed to? I think there is a Jenny in the uh, timeline. Yeah, there is. So, I guess Jenny. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Seb's mobile. Okay. Unexpected. Whoops. Um, hi, Ben. Sorry to ask, but any chance you're covering my shift next Saturday? Got a hot day. Yeah, okay. Remember, you owe me. Anyway, who is the lucky lady? Emma from Radiology. She's out way out your leave. I know. Ben. Maybe this is Ben's room? Why has he got Jenny's drugs? Uh, read. Okay. I'm very pleased to offer you a volunteer doctor placement with us. Nice. We would like you to start then. Your initial posting will be our London office for six weeks induction and training program. Please report to Ed. Yeah. If date. Yeah. Okay. Once your training is complete, you'll be assigned to overseas placement. Oh. We accept, if you accept this offer, I would appreciate you signing and returning a copy of this letter at your own convenience. We are confident that you'll be able to make a significant contribution to the challenging role for offering life-saving care where they offer in around the world. If you have any questions, radio. Um, he's just put that in his bottom drawer. Doesn't seem like he wanted to take that job. Possibly just applied just for the sake of it. Okay, what we got here? Hi Ben. Sorry I haven't been in touch, but as you can guess, mobile coverage is pretty spotty at best. So I thought I'd go old school and write you a postcard instead. Anyway, it's all a wonderful project here. It's just what we imagined it would be with more mosquitoes. Uh, they're building a new wing on the hospital here and there is and this one's even going to have a roof. What a luxury. People here are great. And you really feel like you're making a difference. It's not all bed roses, of course. A bed roses, of course, though. Simple tests take an absolute age if you can get them at all. The electricity supply is a joke. I've had to do some surgeries by candlelight. Oh, and did I mention the mosquitoes? <laughs> you still get... You slept saying... Agnes up near Manchester that's one thing I really uh, that's one thing I really don't miss the terrible Manchester weather though it's not long till my rotation is up so I'll have to put up with it for a few weeks then I'll drop you an email when I'm back and we can meet up for a few pints right back at ya see you mate, see you, mate. Josh alright and again, he just put it away rather than like putting it out on display. Hmm. Or key. That looks like a room key, 43. It does. Am I allowed to just take it? So not like against the rules? Appointment reminder for the doctor of surgery. These do not curl. Yeah, okay. Who, whose phone is this? Hmm. Oh, again, it's got like a tiger stripe. Maybe it belongs to the tiger stripe glasses, whoever they belong to. Hmm. Oh, it's not a tiger stripe, but you know what I mean. Leopard skin. Almost. Okay. So. It is indeed. More pills. Ah, this one's for Mr. Ben Riley. Apra. Aran Hapram. Hmm. I feel like I recognise that one, but I'm pretty sure the other one's made up. Well, I obviously didn't <laughs> know all the drugs in the world, but... What was that noise? Oh, anyway, Emily, um, you know, I'm really sorry about last night, Em, I don't know what happened. Look, Neil, 
I like you and we had some fun, but I don't need the drama. I'm not looking for a guy who thinks he needs to protect me. Let's just leave it and try and be friends, okay? Wait, I'm really sorry. I had a bit too much to drink and I lost it. It won't happen again. Why don't we just meet up for a drink, just you and me? No, Neil, you're not listening. I want you to leave me alone. Okay. Ah. Uh, sounds like he perhaps got jealous of somebody and shouldn't have. Cool. Uh, oh, that's a cool poster. Nice. Diverted traffic. Okay. Oh, I, at first I thought that was somebody standing out there just looking at me here. Scared the bejesus out of me. No. Um, what's that say? Finn something Roland Brown. Finn Johansson Roland Brown. I do. Okay. Oh, another letter. Neil's mum's letter. Dearest Neil, I love, it's your mum. I tried to ring in a few times, but I guess you've been busy, so I thought I'd be a bit old fashioned and put pen to paper and write you a letter. Well, I finally managed to shake off the cold that I've had almost three weeks, three months, sorry. The doctor said it wasn't anything serious, but there was some sort of secondary infection, and so he had me on antibiotics. I also had a few hot toddies before going to bed and one or the other seems to have worked. The dad's pottering off down to the allotment. You're at least, or at least that's what he says. He thinks I can't smell the pints of bitter on his breath when he gets back, silly man. Still, at least it keeps him quiet and lets me watch my soaps in peace. He missed you at Easter. The lamb was almost perfect. But with just two of us, we're eating bubble and squeak for days afterwards. Still, with the exams coming up, I can understand why you'd want to take some time out. Oh, and I bumped into your old maths teacher, Miss, Mrs. Willis. When I was out in town on Tuesday, she was... Okay, that was the end of that sentence. She's retired now, but she still remembers you, her star pupil. She asked how you were doing... And wanted to know she was proud of you. Wanted you to know she was proud of you. Linda's been in touch. She said she wanted to talk about something, so I passed you, her your number. I told her you're really busy, but she said she'll drop you a text. Anyway, I'll sign off now as I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you don't need your old mum nagging at you. But if you find yourself with half an hour spare, I'd love to hear your voice. Oh, my love, mum. X. Okay, so I'm guessing these are like a, a group of teenagers that are doing like a house share type thing. Summer Ball 2015, I want it out, blah 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 blah. Okay. Ah, so this is the one that was locked. Good, good for you to okay. Now you can watch any events that took place in here. Nice. No. Girl 7 killed in road accident. Hmm, this might be important. A seven-year-old girl died and another was taken to hospital after they were struck by a car in a small village in Bridgebury. A 42-year-old man has been arrested at the scene of the accident, close to the juncture of Victoria Road and Springfield Lane, they said. Witnesses report seeing the grey car driving erratically before the incident and a police spokesman confirmed that the vehicle was travelling at speed as it headed up the narrow lane that passes by both the girls' house. Uh, the girls were quietly playing in a front garden when they decided to cross the lane to the farmer's field opposite and were struck by a car. After hitting the children, the grey car is understood to have continued along for a short distance and then veered back across the road, coming to a halt at Hedgerow a further 100 feet. Interesting that they say feet. In the UK we use metres. Anyway, along the lane. One of the girls was confirmed to have died instantly, while the other was taken to Chester General Hospital as a precaution. Part of Springfield Lane and Victoria Road remained sealed off by the police. 
for forensic examination. Speaking at the scene, Chief Inspector Sean Barrett said, My deepest sympathies are with the friends and family of the two girls involved in this incident. Hmm. Why would you have that? It's very strange, I guess. Uh, hmm. Were they related to the girl in some way? Or worse, perhaps they were involved in it? Oh, a brazenessy test. Um, I can't tell if it's been used though, because it won't let me like open it. Over 99% accurate. Asterisks. And test five days early. Double asterisks. Where's the uh, asterisk notes? Doesn't say, but presumably it's just... Yeah, presumably it's just... Um... Well, anyway. Uh, close the camera, rather. We hope this helps you remember our beautiful daughter, love Pamela and James. Oh. Hmm. Fine exposition. Wow. Okay. Wait, it wants me to read this. Is it important then? Okay. I guess so. What is this? Okay. Ah, a phone. Professor J. Uh, read. Hey Raquel, need to know exactly how many pieces of you'll be exhibiting on Friday. Eight pieces as agreed. You're going to be ready for Thursday, the final, in that final in that installation day. Just doing some finishing touches. Dear, no time. Just get them to the hall tomorrow. Midday latest. Okay, Professor, will do. Jeff, dear, just call me Jeff. Okay, Jeff. Hmm. Okay. Right, well, I think that's everything looked at in some way, one way or another. Let's start. Okay. Let's start. Doing some time manipulation, shall we? Um, event two took place in the hall. Day one, Wednesday, eight o one. Location: Hall. Oh. You must be Linda. Come in. Ah, oh, thanks. Hiya. Hi. Well, it's good to see you. Oh, and you. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, this is Tom. He's the landlord. Don't know what I would have done without you. Ah, uh, look, I've just got a spare room. That's not all your stuff, is it? Oh, no, there's more in the car. Keys? Right, back in a minute. OK. So, uh, how about a quick tour? Lead on. Crossing the threshold. That's what that that one's called. Presumably it's referring to Linda crossing the threshold into the house. Okay. Next. Linda arrived at the house, met with her brother Neil, and was introduced to Tom. In the kitchen. Righty eh? Wait, it says it's this way. What? No, no, we've looked at that one. I'm I want to look at the next one. Why is it not changing? Tell oh, do I have to the front door and welcomed Linda to the house. Neil appeared and after greeting his sister, went to collect her bags from the car while Tom took her on a tour of the house. 
Yeah, okay. Now I want to do this one. Day one, Wednesday, 804. Location, kitchen. I don't know what I was doing wrong there, but somehow I've managed to get it to show this. This is Jenny, apparently. Uh, here's the kitchen. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Hi. this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> That's us. We're just so sweet, aren't we, honey? Oh, we <laughs> certainly are. Though, I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume? Oh, the uniform. Well, that, along with your excellent bedside manner with the young lady in pyjamas. Oh, she called me young. She can stay. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> I can't. See you tonight. See you. And I guess I'll see the two of you later as well. Yeah, take it easy, mate. See you. Right, time to see your room. All right, okay. Like the ice cream. <laughs> so I guess in this universe it's called Ben and Jenny's rather than Jerry's. Funny stars. Oh, um, right, next event. Oh, do I have to report it first? Around the house, they entered the kitchen where Tom introduced Linda to Ben and Jenny. After quickly saying hello, Ben then had to leave to finish getting ready for work. Right, uh, okay. Linda's room, F. Day 1, Wednesday, 8.09. Okay. Location, Linda's room. Let's be up here. And this is you. So, was it? Hmm? The previous tenant, born to run. Born to run. <laughs> well, he certainly wasn't born to stick around and pay the rent, but I doubt it. Why? He's left his guitar. I'll get rid of it all for you. Oh, okay. If you rewatch the decision, the button will appear next to your device. Press this button will pause the event and allow you to select the outcome without having to wait until the decision point. If you change the decision, the event will jump forward to the decision point and then continue onwards showing you the result and ending. Okay. Leave the guitar and posters. Take the guitar and posters. Well, we haven't seen what happens if they leave the guitar. Oh, I mean, obviously it's not the right choice, but I want to know what they say and then I want to change it. Yeah? Yeah. Let's leave it. Oh no, it's okay, leave it. It reminds me, I'm not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> sure thing, Dorothy. <Dorf. laughs> uh, where'd you want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. What? Okay, not in Kansas anymore. Okay, let's re-watch this one and then change the... And this is you. Uh... Two. Yeah. I know I'm not in Kansas anymore, but my days as a rock chick are way over. <laughs> sure thing, Dorothy. <laughs> uh, where'd you want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. What? There we go. I, I don't imagine you're supposed to change every decision. Um, otherwise, I imagine it'll still, it could still end up, um, I mean, that, that would obviously be an easy way to complete the bloody game if you just changed every decision. But any, anyway, let's um, go to the next one. I think we'll do five events, and then we'll call the part there. Um, right, so it's the hall again. Day one, Wednesday, 8.10. Location, hall. Hi, Neil. Anything for me in there? Uh, we'll go with don't think so. I haven't seen anything. Don't worry about it. Can I squeeze past? Oh, Where? yeah, yeah. Sure. See you, Doc. See you, Neil. Hmm. Any post? Question mark. 
Right, let's change this one now. Uh, uh hold on, I'll, um, I'll double check. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, here you go. Cheers. Uh, can I squeeze past? Work. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. See you, Doc. See you, Neil. Hmm, did we check that post? I mean, it looks like it would have burnt if it was there, but... Hmm. Let's quickly put it back. Oh, my screen just flashed. Let's quickly put it back and just... Okay, well, in that case, let's change it back to what it was. Oh, I didn't need to watch it again to do that, but never mind. No, no. Not, don't think so. I want. Don't worry about it. Can I squeeze past? Oh. Um, I'll double check. Uh, hold on, I'll, um, I'll double check. Why am I here? What's happening now? Um, why does it get me to. Cheers. Uh, can I squeeze past? Work. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, well, it's a good time to end the part. Um, oh, I'm, I'm free. Um, yeah, so this has been an interesting start to this game. Uh, let's go to space timeline, rather. Space timeline. Um, yeah, so we've met a lot of the characters. Um, we've learned a few bits of pieces here and there about each of them and uh, we've discovered how we can manipulate time interesting um, yeah so the diamond ones are the ones where you can make a decision and the, the round ones are just an event that happens um, that event could change depending on what the diamonds presumably so uh, so next time we've got Oh, and it doesn't tell you if they're diamonds until you've viewed them. That makes sense. Okay, right, well, next time we'll carry on exploring the timeline, see what we can uh, change to make these people not die in a fire. <laughs> but anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.